There are many printed matters around the world. And in recent years, due to ecological and health considerations, the change from oil-based ink to water-based ink has been pushed forward. But there was a material that was difficult to print on using a water-based ink. Plastic film. We experimented by writing on a plastic film using an oil-based ink pen and a water-based ink pen. And of course, the line drawn with the oil-based permanent marking pen is clear. But when you use a water-based marking pen, the ink is repelled and wipes off easily. This is why. The fact that an oil-based ink stays on plastic films is due to the power of the resin within the ink. Resin has the quality of magnetically attracting other resins. So the resin within the ink sticks to the resin component in the plastic film, which then retains the ink. But in the case of water-based ink, the water molecules cover the surface of the ink so the resin is inhibited by the water molecules and cannot stick directly to the resin on the plastic film. The ink just slips away. The Takumi, along with an ink manufacturer, weakened the cohesive force of the water molecules with alcohol and a small amount of additive. This allowed the resin to surface, attracting the resin in the plastic film and making printing possible. But there was still a big problem. And the next big problem was the difficulty in drying. Figuring out a way to dry them quickly was a major hurdle. A water-based ink contains moisture, and compared to an oil-based ink, it takes time to evaporate, which reduces the productivity. Let's see how the Takumi solved this problem. Whoa, there are a lot of dots. Yes, the colors are made by small dots. So to quickly dry them, I thought of reducing the amount of ink that is used. To do this, the idea of making the dots smaller came to me. The dots are what make up printed objects. But when they are big, they are difficult to dry. So the Takumi thought that if he made the dots smaller, they would dry faster. So the Takumi started working on improving the printing plates on which the ink will be placed. Oh, it's a really big cylinder. Uh, this is the printing cylinder. The white-looking part? The intaglio plate surface. The Takumi thought of making the bumps on the surface even smaller and decided to use laser engraving. This is the plate which was made. If you look at the holes using a microscope... The dots are smaller, but the depth of the grooves is also different. These are the plates for oil-based inks and for water-based inks under a microscope. You can see that the grooves are smaller and the depth of the grooves is approximately one quarter. Having improved the printing plate with smaller engravings, the color dots that attached to the film dried quickly even though they were water-based. Through the success of printing on plastic film using water-based ink, there was another happy effect. As I worked to make the dots smaller, it also made the prints even clearer and more defined. The small dot technique that he developed to facilitate the drying process also made high-precision printing possible. This way, the Takumi succeeded in making eco-friendly, high-precision, water-based ink printing a reality. As to my question about what other technology he would like to develop, for me, the quality of the present printed package is still a 6 out of 10. I feel that there are still other things that our consumers are not satisfied with. And that's where the invention process starts. 
I feel that the lack of satisfaction is the true mother of innovation. Petroleum-based plastics require lots of fossil fuels to produce. It takes them hundreds of years to biodegrade, during which they release more greenhouse gases. Our next segment features a more eco-friendly alternative, bioplastics.